Welcome to Video Math Lessons. I'm your host today, Mr. Polarski. Today we're going to verify segments and angle relationships, as well as proving segments and angles, and I did forget to put this, congruent, in case you don't know what that is. This is a symbol for it. And it means the same shape and same size. We look at our first example today. We need to actually prove the measure of segment NA is equal to the measure of segment NB. With the given information, the, we're given that the measure of segment NL is equal to the measure of segment NM, and the measure of segment AL is equal to the measure of segment BM. So as far as our diagram is concerned, AL and MB are equal. and NL is equal to NB. So this big distance here and this big distance here. Those two are equal. So we're going to start our proof off today by writing our given information. Even though it's here, you need to write it in your two column proof. That's why it's good to work with a pencil. You make mistakes, you need to erase. Next we're going to establish with the segment addition postulate that the measure of NL is equal to the measure of NA plus the measure of AL. Also we'll establish that the measure of NB plus the measure of BM is equal to the measure of NM. Using substitution, because we are given that NL is equal to NM, we can say that NA plus AL is equal to NB plus BM. We'll be replacing these expressions for these monomials from the given. And another substitution, since we are given that AL is equal to BM, we're going to replace this BM with an AL so that we get the measure of NA plus the measure of AL is equal to NB plus the measure of AL. Again, that's from the substitution property of equality. 
In step five, we can finally say that NA is equal to NB because we can subtract AL from both sides, so that'd be the subtraction property of equality. It's really an algebra problem with a little bit of geometry mixed into it.